have you ever encountered during your whole research career and career as a professor any like moments where you felt am I doing the right thing like is it the right direction should I maybe switch it up a bit I, I had this moment um, at the uh, end of the 90s because um, this this was the time where we um, we thought that maybe they could be atrocity and light pulse but we didn't know how to measure them or we we thought we knew, we were trying some method, but it didn't work. Mm. Well, we were also at the time uh, trying to develop application of the high harmonics, but uh, didn't seem other scientists were so interested. So this was a difficult period where I, I really thought uh, seriously that maybe I should switch research field a little bit. But uh, fortunately, my two co-laureates uh, in 2001, they managed to show that yes, we, we have at a second person that kind of uh, opened the field again and um, showed us what we should do and uh, how to continue. I can imagine that it really like sparked some more hope yeah. to really like, oh, there's so much more we can discover here now. And yeah. I would say, what helped you throughout this time? Like what kept you going like during this period of doubt? That's a very <laughs> good question. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's... Uh, it's um, maybe uh, persistent and still not giving up. I think that's a very good character trait. Like, is that a character trait you think a researcher should have? I think that's the most important because in, uh, in research you always have ups and downs and, and there are always periods where things don't work. So it's important to be uh, persistent. Uh, uh, to me, it seems more important than being smart or <laughs> at the same time to be persistent. It's also important that you like what you're doing. So uh, passion is also important. Yeah, definitely. So it's like really also the work ethic on top of the personal, personal feelings one has towards their work. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah. <laughs>